Hello and welcome to GeoLearn. My name is Gary Kent. This is tutorial number one of our series on easements and rights of way. And we're going to start by talking about the interests in easements and rights of way and definitions to help us get started. So in defining an easement, this is, a, this is the best definition of an easement that I have found. A limited non-possessory interest in the land of another. I want to break that down because it has, it says everything that needs to be said about an easement and there's nothing extra there. First of all, easements are an interest in real estate. And this is a key point as we will find out as we go later. However, it is a non-possessory interest. It's not a fee interest. It's limited and easements, the interest is limited by the terms of the document that created it or by the manner in which the easement was created if it was an unwritten easement. And a very key point is it is in someone else's land. You cannot have an easement over yourself. So a limited non-possessory interest in the land of another. Now, as we go on, I'm gonna, in, these series, in this series of tutorials, we're gonna have a lot of sites of court cases from around the country in different states. And there's two or three reasons that I want to do this. One is that a lot of times I look at a case and, I, and it's defining or looking at definitions for something in particular and I just really like the way that that particular court uh, made that statement or defined that particular item. So I'll throw that in because I just like the way they did it. Another reason is because sometimes we hear things and it doesn't really quite click. We hear somebody says, well, here's what this means, and, and we, we hear it, but it doesn't click. But if they say it in a different way, then sometimes it'll click to us. So that's another reason that I will have those in here. So as we go through, we'll see, and I will mention the different states that these come out of. It's important to know, however, that the whole theme of easements and rights of way is pretty portable across state lines. There are a few differences, and we'll talk about some of those as we go along today. So here's a definition of an easement that came out of Colorado. An easement is a right conferred by grant, prescription, or necessity. And we're going to talk about all those later on. Authorizing one to do or maintain something on the land of another, which although a benefit to the land of the former, may be a burden on the land of the latter. So we start getting the idea we're talking about benefits and burdens here. Here's a definition out of Ohio. An easement is a property interest in the land of another that allows the owner of the easement a limited use in the land in which the easement exists. Well, that says it a little bit longer, but it's quite similar to the very first definition we had up there. Here's another definition. This one's out of Texas. An easement is a liberty, privilege, or advantage without profit which the owner of one tract of land may have in the lands of another. Though incorporeal, it is an interest in land and must be created by grant, covenant, agreement, express, or implied. Here's a definition that came out of a U.S. court. A property owner's right to exclude others from his or her property is recognized as one of the most essential sticks in the bundle of rights that are commonly characterized as property. 